But actually, you talk, you know the Shire horses. Mm. They used to use them for grinding apples in talking about the cider again yes. down in Cornwall because I went to Healy's. I think it was the cider farm down in Cornwall yeah. last year, and they have this museum, and it's fan, it's it is fascinating how mm. they used to make uh, cider through the years. They used they used these Shire horses at one point. And it was because, of, I mean, I use champagne yeast, which is, you know, relatively nice. But apparently in the old days, they didn't know what was making the, the fermentation. Oh, yeah. And they used to use, let the horses shit in the in yeah. the, in the the grind. Mm. And then they, oh, I think it was a shy horse. And then donkey, donkey, or maybe it was donkey. And then the shy horse crap didn't work. Mm. So they had to then, they what they used to do is they used to staple bits of meat on the beams above yeah. the grind. So the rats would come in, oh, yeah. and they'd fall in, and they'd mm. grind the rats up. Mm. It's, it's fascinating if you go down it, to I was Cornwall reading, um, and look at the museum. It was a book about cheese and Stilton. They think the original mold. They used to get some old leather harness with the mold on it, and that was what the culture was that started Stilton cheese going the blue cheese. Yeah, yeah. So, but how would they make? Because well, so, Stilton's mouldy inside, though, isn't it? So how do they get? It, how do they get the mold to go in? I don't know. I was problem. reading all about these cheeses. I was trying to think where it was, but it was a whole book on cheeses. It was just an article. But um, I like good cheese. Um, that's stronger, the better, really. I've been put off. Apart from, I'm a very English. Apart mm. from cheddar, yeah. I mean, you know, oh, that's dear. because what I, the thing is, I used to work at a dairy farm. I probably yeah. know Malins. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, I used to uh, Bista. Bista, yeah. exactly. Yeah. yeah. I used to work there, and and the smell of it. You know, some obviously they have a tank. Yeah. And some of the milk would the spill warm on milk the milk smell. I have to yeah, say, that is it. Puke making. But it was like yeah. it smelled a bit weird, and then they have they spill a bit on the floor when they when the guy yeah. come and puts the he puts the tube the toes on the tank. Yeah. And they suck all the milk out. Yeah. And inevitably, some of it gets on the floor, which you obviously wash. But then a few, mm. you know, a bit here and there, stick gets stuck in the corner, mm, yeah, whatever and else it goes off. <laughs> And it goes off, and it's you know, especially in the summer, yeah. you'd walk in, and the smell that hit you mm. is just so strong. It smells so like I don't know of this cheese mm. that that really put me off. When I smell this cheese now, I just think I'm putting it up to my mouth, and I just smell the smell of this dairy floor. You know, it's it's not mm. awful, but it just reminds me of the dairy floor, and I just I don't know. The cheese I can't making do with it. it was a big breakthrough because you'd had in the spring when the grass grew a big flush of milk then. Yeah, yeah. And to yeah. preserve it, to make an energy rich food that would actually have a long shelf life, cheese yeah. was the ultimate thing. It's nice. And that's where it all started. And I, also <laughs> in this article, I was reading. Uh, do you know what Cyclops did for a living? No. Um, in Homer's Odyssey, which was written about 600 BC, he lived in a cave. He was a cheesemaker. Well, they knew then that the best atmosphere for making cheese was it was in a cave, constant he- like, temperature and, and humidity. You see, yeah, I was going to say. Yeah. Um, Homer even wrote that um, he used um, the day before's culture to make today's cheese. Uh, How did you get the first doing one? It again, yeah, yeah. How would you get to the first one? Surely I that's somewhere. You, you must have well, been the first one. A moldy, moldy <laughs> horse harness somewhere, and the mold dropped <laughs> in it by mistake. Everything had to start somewhere, didn't it? That's the thing, though, is in those yeah. days, everything would have been different flavours. I think you've lost a lot of that flavour these days, haven't you? Yeah, we've got more now. Are the 700 English cheeses been made now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the different that'll, ones, that'll artisan make, cheeses. That'll make the Brexiteers happy. From no, yeah. no, no French cheese need to come over now. No, no, that's <laughs> right. Actually, there are some very good English cheeses about. I, sh- I should maybe explore them. I know they yeah. sometimes do. I like a good sort of but. camembert one. I like the creamy cheese. That is um, nice roasted, to be honest. Yeah. When you put that in the roasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but your cheddar, I mean, during the war, all you were allowed to make was cheddar, wasn't it? That, they yeah, stopped all yeah. the fancy cheeses. And it took 30-odd years or 40 years before it started coming back again, and then people started experimenting. You never really hear of country folk making their own cheese, though. Not that I, not that I know of. No. I mean, I, I mean, a lot of people make their no. own drinks, but... Oh, Roger... Forage and everything Crouch else. Roger does up at Churchill, doesn't he? He's big into cheese. Yeah. He'd be a good chap to interview for this job, actually. He's I'm making a What's his name? Roger? Crudge. Roger Crudge. Roger Crudge, yeah. Make a note so we remember the, na- yeah. remember the name. Yeah, no, no. He's uh, big into cheese. He makes th- three or four different ones, I think. Uh, well, he was doing it anyway. <laughs> he, yeah, he'd be a good, good bloke. He came and gave a talk, actually, at the farming club one night and just got a bottle of Tesco's milk, which he turned into cheese during the course of the event. Yeah, any good? Sort of, Did it taste sort of right? cottage cheese type thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was edible. No, yeah, well, edible. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not yeah. the, the highest of praise, but... No, 